Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1, GV Whiskey One. Good vibrations. Just a few minutes ago, I thought of a really neat way, a really cool way, to practice the code, the Morse code. It, it will help with sending and receiving, but it takes two people and a code practice oscillator. The first person has already learned how to copy the code and is thereby improving his or her sending skills. So with a code practice oscillator, he or she can do that. Uh, well, you know, you need a key, of course. Uh, I would recommend, well, you might, you might use a key or you might use a, a straight key or a brass pounder. But uh, I, I just don't use a keyboard unless, um, <clears throat> I mean, because then you don't have to really learn much of anything except how to get, how to send faster and faster, you know, 60 and 70 and 80 words a minute. If you can type that fast, nobody's going to copy that fast. Uh, at least not very many people do anymore. But it takes one person to send with a code practice oscillator who already has learned how to copy. The other person, suppose that's you, that's just for the sake of supposition, you want to learn the code. And you want to start, of course, by copying, by learning how to not just receive, but copy on lined paper, wide ruled marginal spiral notebooks are what I recommend. And I recommend you can either print or write in so-called cursive. Uh, I myself print just because I, that was the way I learned it, the habit. It was just the habit. It was easier if I made a mistake to cross out a letter and just read and print it afterwards, you know. But with cursive, that's harder to do. Although ultimately you'll be able to copy faster in most cases if you use cursive. But that's, that's kind of beside the point. The point is you are trying to learn the code and you want therefore to learn how to copy first. But you don't have any source that you can rely on other than maybe the W1AW code practice sessions. But that assumes you already know the code and you just want to improve your skill. So let somebody else be your teacher somebody who already knows the code, knows how to send, has a code practice oscillator, and can spend a few hours or a few tens or hundreds or thousands of hours with you, patiently teaching you the code, teaching you how to copy first, while at the same time, eventually, as you learn to copy, maybe improving his or her own sending skills, sending better letters, more well-formed letters. Uh, and so you can both, uh, you can kill two dits with one da, so to speak, or give life to two dits with one da, because I don't think killing anything is the objective here, is it? Well, I don't know, the, but that's just an idea that occurred to me. If you're willing to find a partner, and if a partner is willing to find you, and together you can improve your sending, and that person can, uh, well, you know, you, you get the idea, right? I, I mean, I can't get everything straight. I, some of the comments I've been getting lately are pretty entertaining, like current drain, you know, how many amperes went down the drain, or are you kidding? Or how many dits went down the da? Oh, I don't know. Let's find out. But generally speaking, if you send a string of dits, you'll get twice as many dits per unit time as if you switch over to da's. So like it might be 
da 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 di 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 da 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 di 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 da 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 and on and on and on and here's this full grown 66 year old man yammering at an ipad da 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 di 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 da 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 di 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 don't let them all go down the drain i think it's a pretty cool idea myself but I'm, I've learned the code already, and uh, so it's up to you to try it and see. Come back, get, come back in a few years and tell me how it went, eh? And don't flush too many amp ears down the drain in the meantime. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73 and so long, which in my native fist, always translates to di-di-di-da-di-da. Di, di, di,